Hi, I'm Cindy Costala, Senior Librarian at the Monterey Park Brugamar Library. I'm here today with Dr. Pedro Chen. We're talking about um, an exhibit that he has put together um, on Dr. Sun Yat-sen. And he has a wonderful exhibit that has traveled to many libraries, universities, and museums, and now it's here at Monterey Park Library. Can you tell us a little bit about the significance of this, uh, of this exhibit? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, before that, I want to tell you I'm also a resident of uh, Montreal Park, I'm, and I want the exhibit to come to Montreal Park so that uh, the resident in Montreal Park got a chance to also to see our wonderful exhibit. We're really glad that you've done that. I know that there's a lot of excitement about this exhibit. Um, we're starting out, the exhibit is actually uh, in two different places in the library. Um, it's in some display cases that we have on the first floor. And we also have um, some panels that tell the history of Dr. Sun Yat-sen's visit to Los Angeles. And so those are in the international room. So we're gonna start here first in the, uh, with the display cases. Okay. Now on this particular case, you see some uh, Chinese coin uh, at the beginning of the uh, Republic of China. That means uh, right after the uh, overthrowing the uh, Qing Dynasty. And these are the initial coin. And you also see some stem. See, they didn't have the time to print their own stem, so they just uh, using the Qing Dynasty stem, and then they print out a uh, Republic of China in Chinese over there. Uh, over here, you see different stems of Sun Yat-sen and also the uh, first day of Isu. Uh, you can see that Sun Yat-sen is international. Uh, he's recognized not just by China, but even uh, here, uh, we have the U.S. government has issued two stems on Sun Yat-sen. One in 1942, uh, during World War II with uh, Lincoln. Uh, the other one is uh, 1961, uh, all by himself. And over here, some uh, Chinese stem and uh, Chinese uh, first day of Isu. And have you been have you been collecting these for a while? Yeah, just for the last two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we were preparing for this exhibit. Mm -hmm. Uh, moving along to uh, this uh, uh, counter, uh, we have different books in English and in Chinese on Dr. Sun Yat-sen. Uh, we have collected over 50 books uh, all together. Uh, today, we only uh, display a few because we didn't have all the space. But I want to emphasize on uh, this exhibit. There are three things that uh, uh, we're very proud of. The first is the training of the Chinese cadet in America. And Los Angeles was at one time the, not just the financial center, but also the revolution center uh, for, for China. Uh, number two, we have also uh, rediscovered the location uh, where at one time Dr. Sun was a house guest in South Pasadena. And uh, number three, we have got also all the uh, English correspondence between Sun Yat-sen and, uh, and Homer Lee and uh, uh, Charles Booth. Uh, in a minute, we'll go to the poster. Uh, we'll uh, show this uh, uh, picture for you. Okay, we're here in the international room with the exhibit, uh, Sun Yat-sen's Visits to Los Angeles, a photo exhibit. And I'm here with Roger Young. Uh, Roger is an expert on Homer Lee, and he's going to tell us about the history behind Homer Lee's involvement with Dr. Sun Yat-sen. Um, so, Roger, what can you share with us? Okay, uh, Homer Lee is original from Denver. The whole family moved to uh, Los Angeles, and he uh, studied in uh, L.A. High School, and then went to... Uh, Occidental and went on Stanford. And uh, somehow he is interested in Chinese culture and history. And uh, actually, the family has a cook, Chinese cook, and taught him a lot about Chinese. That's make him so much involved with Chinese. 
and first he helped the reform party. The reform party is main thing is to uh, keep the emperor, but reform the government because they think if we uh, overthrow revolution, we die a lot of people. But Sun Yat-sen is different. Sun Yat-sen want to tr overthrow the Qing dynasty, and later on, and the emperor died for some reason, and the slogan for the reform party doesn't work, and Hongbeni change to help Dr. Sun Yat-sen. So we have a, a, a picture of Homer Lee. Can we walk down here and um, take a look at it? Yeah. And then you can uh, tell us a little bit more. There you see uh, Homer Lee here and uh, Dr. Sun Yat-sen here. And this is a rich businessman. He helped to raise money for the revolution. He's in South Pasadena. And these two trees uh, grown by, planted by Dr. Sun Yat-sen, why he stay over there. You, uh, you have to understand finance is very crucial for the revolution. And the second thing Homali did is train Chinese soldier. And we have a lot of picture about that. It, it, what's so wonderful about this exhibit is how uh, visually you can learn the history with these panels that uh, the public can come in and see uh, in the International Room at the Monterey Park Library. And this is uh, Homali, and it's a uh, before he's a general for the Reform Party. And he have some uh, general, like this one. He was the general in the international army for, to China to uh, uh, put down the uh, Box, Rebel, uh, Box Rebellion. Mm -hmm. And this is the founder of the Miller, Tom Miller, the L.A. Tom. The, these three generals is good friend to Homer Lee, and they help him plan the uh, revolution. Mm -hmm. And I understand that um, they uh, got together, they planned uh, in a church in Pasadena. That's it. That's the picture of the so Pasadena. That's the aerial picture. That's the original, original estate over there. And that's the inside picture. That's the only thing left today is the little church mm -hmm. and the uh, servants' quarter with the horse barn. That's the only thing left. Well, this is a wonderful exhibit. Um, do you have anything else to share with some of the uh, panels that we have here? Uh, I would like to say homely uh, really contribute to the Chinese revolution a lot. We cannot forget him, and we should honor him and recognize him. That's what we are doing here. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that uh, little bit of history, and we want to encourage uh, the public to come out and visit the exhibit. Um, the exhibit will be here through November 29th at the Monterey Park Library in the International Room. Thank you, Thank you. Much. Dr. Pedro Chan, can you uh, share a little bit of information about the exhibit um, and a little bit of the history in Chinese? Sure. We are very welcome to come to the museum to see the museum in the museum and the museum. The museum is four times as many as the museum. In 1904, 1905,1910,1911,希望大家有机会来这个蒙士的图书馆参观这个展览。由今天开始,今天是11月14,两个星期,希望大家尽量在这两个星期都来参观。多谢各位。Thank you.